Well, that's me. Just another regular student in DRS. I sit here in sheer just thinking about life. What it means. What's our purpose? Why are we living on this little ball of confusion? I watch as my Rebbe throws his hands around, telling us why a man needs to get married on Sunday and Thursday. Or is it Monday and Thursday? What, what, whatever, the point is, I just don't understand the whole Jew thing. This book of words and mystical so-called spiritual encryptions. I just don't get it. Gemara, Chumash, Navi, what's all the fuss about? Why do people love it so much? Why do people sit down and take the time out to learn something that seems so unimportant, meaningless? He had a blue-eyed look and lived an Indian girl Lived alone in the warm wet fields in his corner of the world But then I made a decision that would change my life drastically. I went down to that place they call a Beit Midaresh you know, to talk to Rabbi Cohen and stuff. I just had to know. I had to know what this whole Torah thing is all about. Rabbi? What's it all about? I just... I don't get it. You really want to know? Yeah, I want to know. You really want to know? Let's sit down and learn. Let's learn four words. Four words of Torah. Okay. Ubarasilo Tyra Tavlin. Ready? Yeah. What's Tavlin? Drugs! Thanks, Ready. My pleasure. Ubarasilo Tyra Tavlin. Tyra! You want to feel good? You want to yeah. feel good? Yeah. You want to feel good always? You need this stuff. You, see, you need Torah. No, no, you see, you say that, and that just that doesn't compute with you. You need it. You need Torah. Barasi lo Torah tavlin. Okay. It's your life. It's your chai. You need Torah. Go for it. Give it a try. All right. Get involved. Okay. I'm gonna try. Feel it. It'll be good. Okay. So then I sat down, I opened that book, and began to learn. As time went on, I realized I don't understand Aramaic at all. It's really hard. I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous. I don't get it. But just then, for no particular reason at all, something amazing happened. Before I knew it, I was learning day and night. I was in the clouds. The universe and every beautiful piece of it was swelling around my mind like a carousel on the verge of midnight revelation. I transcended to a higher state of being. What I felt was inexpressible. After two weeks of learning my rumspringer off, I realized what my life calling was. I was to spread the word of God by dealing Torah. I dealt it, and I dealt it good. Revolution made its way to Yeshiva in ways unimaginable. Lord, get me high, get me high, get me high. Lord, get me high, get me higher. Lord, get me high, get me high, get me high. Lord, get me high, get me high.
Stop doing this, man. It's not good for you. You know. You that. gotta be aggressive, Stu. He's gonna do it again. Oh, no, no, no. We spoke about this. You know what to do. You gotta be. You, you gotta take control. You're the parent. T tell me what we spoke about. You're gonna have to stay in your room with. No you don't control no. me. You can't I, tell me what to do. I think you have to stay in your room. We're taking all the farm out of your room. You can't do this to me. I think we need professional help. You're gonna have to give me professional help. Oh my God, Benny, you're ruining this family! Why can't you be more like your brother Steven? I'm a Shut up, Steven! I don't know what we're gonna do with you. Benny, you're grounded. No shears, no lighting, no nothing. 